Good morning, good afternoon, and namaste. Welcome to the Mapsodes, a brand new episode from Cheers. We are here, here to talk about Google Maps platform, APIs, and a lot of geeky stuff. So my name is Sash, I'm the Nidhi, and this is the nerdy who's gonna be talking a little more geeky about it, Mudan. Hi. So, first thing first, who are we? We are a company called Cheers. We're into business consulting, process improvements, and a lot of intelligent automation. We're also Google's global premier partner in terms of cloud platform integration and support, G Suite and Google Maps platform. So today, we're gonna to be talking a little more in detail and Nerdy is gonna help us with a lot of questions and answers. Hey Nerdy, would you be able to explain what MapSource is all about? Sure, thanks for calling me Nerdy by the way. I would like to point out that everything is relative. Anyway, getting to the point, uh, Mapisodes is to generate interest about Google Maps platform, which is a pla which is the flagship product in the ge geospatial space by Google. And uh, we are also going to explain you how the technical stuff works. Also, uh, what is the pricing around it? What are the changes which are upcoming in India right now and globally? And finally, we are going to explain some industry specific use cases. Sounds interesting. So shall we get started? Sure. Let's get on the ride. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with some fundamentals. What is Google Maps and how is it different from the Google Maps platform that we're gonna talk about? Sure, so that's a simple one. Uh, Google Maps platform is a set of APIs and SDKs which people use in their applications or web apps to make their applications uh, complete with Google Maps magic, right? So uh, it used to be called Google Maps APIs earlier mm -hmm. and now it's called Google Maps platform since it's a part of the Google Cloud platform. And it should not be confused with the native application or the Google Maps application that everyone has on their phones. Okay, so it's no more a pin on the map. Oh, that's absolutely right. So who uses it and can I get an access to it? So, good question. Uh, the current set of users are usually tech-heavy companies like AR startups, wearables, and ride-sharing platforms like Uber. Uh, they can also be traditional businesses which are into real estate or oil and gas uh, who are using this. Uh, and whether you are a developer or an enterprise, you can get started within minutes. So wearables like Fitbit and the stuff that you wear on your wrist. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, and how does it help businesses? Uh, simply speaking, imagine what is needed to make an app like Uber, right? You need accurate addresses so that they can be converted from lat long to addresses. Uh, people can easily search for them. You need a digital interactive map on which people can see different things. And finally, you might need ETAs and alerts which are based on current traffic conditions, all of which can be used on Google Maps platform. So it's a techy stuff for techy businesses with techies to play with technology. Gosh! <laughs> uh, let me get my nerdy hat off. It's not all that technical. Simply speaking, Google makes beautiful kitchen appliances. Me and my team can give you those appliances uh, get additional groceries or data sets required and finally cook dinner for you. So for example, if you are a retail firm, we can build out complex things like sales tracking for your employees and uh, store locators for your customers. This all sounds very interesting, especially with the kitchen example that you just shared with us. I'm really getting hungry. <laughs> well, by the way, is there any other map tool that can help achieve all this? And why is it Google Maps only? What's the advantage? Sure, to answer that, uh, I would like to tell you some numbers. Uh, Google Maps is updated 25 million times every day. Uh, billions of Android devices and machine learning algorithms help Google to get, get the most accurate and the most trusted data available anywhere else, right? So when you use Google Maps platform, the same accuracy, trust, and familiarity that customers have comes to your applications as well. And how do these features come in play? Sure, the simple answer is APIs and SDKs. So uh, Google has a data set and they have made it easy to access that data sets with the use of APIs and SDKs. Uh, simply speaking, you can get maps, you can get routes, and you can get places in your applications. Oh, so this is not just a navigation tool anymore. Absolutely. Google Maps is a force multiplier. Navigation has to be just the tip of the iceberg. Nerdy, this was all so cool theoretically. Um, tell me how companies achieve or actually use this. Could you explain us or could you give us some real-time cases and some scenarios that 
you know, so-and-so company actually used the platform and it was really helpful to them? Sure. So to give you an idea about who's using it, 70% of the top Fortune, Fortune 500 companies are using it today. Whichever industry you can think of, there are players using it in one vertical or the other. To give you an example, uh, Harley Davidson uses it. Wow. Um, one last question before we go. Been quite inquisitive and keen to understand what is that solution called location intelligence all about? If you can just throw a little more light on that, that'll be helpful. Sure. So data suggests that 90% of the data that the world is collecting right now has been generated in the last two years, right? And 80% of that data that businesses hold today uh, has some kind of location component to it. So location intelligence is a broad umbrella of different services and, uh, and data programs that people are working on to make people's lives easier and make businesses around it. So there are a lot of geospatial solutions that are coming into play right now mm -hmm. with mapping and location being at the center of the businesses. Wow, this was so way helpful. Thanks, Nerdy. Thanks for your time and having spent this kind of a question and answer series, a kind of first map episode that we are actually going to go ahead and launch pretty soon. This is going to be a series of about 10 episodes going forward. I'm sorry, map episodes going forward, <laughs> um, just to correct, because we are the maps people going forward. Um, now, if you, have, if you have any questions, this is especially for all the viewers who are watching us right now, please do not shy away from any suggestions or specific questions related to a specific industry will be helpful to you in terms of explaining this use cases or some scenarios or a specific API we're talking about. So till then, do not get lost. Use Google Maps. Oh, we forgot. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.